What's up, guys? This is Aaron with Aaron Knows Marketing. Thank you guys for stopping over at the channel. I'm going to talk about the Facebook advertising funnel today and why it's important. But before I dive into that, I want to talk about some key mistakes that I see people doing, mainly my clients, right? So, hey, clients, if you see this or if you out there and you're doing this exact same thing, I would definitely recommend that you stop right now because you're going to blow a lot of money on your advertising budget and you're not going to get any results. So I'm going to give you a quick idea of how to think about setting up your funnel, right? First and foremost, the Facebook funnel. When I say the Facebook funnel, it's only because I'm talking about advertising in Facebook. You can apply this to Google, Google ads, you can apply this to Snapchat. If you understand the, the, the concept and the philosophy of what I'm talking about, you can apply to anything. So first and foremost, the thing that you don't do when you set up an advertising ad, you don't want to go directly to conversion ads. Well, you can set up conversion ads, but you don't want to try to get people to convert right away on your website for the big purchase. Because if you do that, trying to advertise to a cold audience, you're going to find yourself wasting a, in a lot of money on your budget and you're not going to get the results that you want. So I recommend that you set up your funnel based on three phases of the customer journey. Phase number one is going to be top of the funnel, right? That's going to be to a cold audience, people who don't know you. That's going to be your lookalike audiences. That's going to be a brand new interest. It's going to be uh, maybe it might even be a list from a long time ago that went stale and people just don't know uh, what you do anymore. But that would be for you to determine. But that's going to be your cold audience, top of the funnel. Then you want to set up a middle of the funnel campaign. The middle of the funnel are going to be people who engage with your ad in some fashion. Maybe they liked it, commented, shared it. Uh, visited your website, downloaded a paper, read a blog post, uh, opt into your email list, opt into your Facebook ad, whatever the case, they did some type of engagement with you. That's the middle of the funnel. Then you want to set up your bottom of the funnel. The bottom of the funnel is going to be people who potentially uh, purchased, who added to cart, who initiated a checkout. You need, and sometimes you may even put people who added to cart initiated checkout in the middle of the funnel. But to be more precise, I would say put those people in the bottom of the funnel. Now, with the top of the funnel, you want to lead in with like the smallest product that you have. Like um, opt in for my newsletter or go read this blog post. You want to lead with content first so that you can give people an idea of you're making them aware of the problem, right? And if you're making them aware of the problem, you want to send them over to a piece of content that will give them the information that they need that's going to answer their question. And then once that once that happens, now you have attribution for the people who uh, opted in for that content or read that piece of content and went over to the website. Now you can uh, retarget those people or with the new iOS update, you won't be able to retarget as efficiently. But you can strategize in a way to where you can track your attribution and then you can put those people in the middle of the funnel and send them a different type of ad. It might be a video testimonial. It might be a fresh piece of creative that sends them to another piece of content that has an offer in it. It may even be um, uh, you might be even trying to do a video ad to where you're trying to now target people at a certain point of the video. So um, that's something to think about, right? So it's strategizing the correct way within each funnel. And it's something to think about because if you're trying to go straight to a cold audience, you're going to find yourself wasting a lot of budget. So think about the different pieces of content that's going to go to each level of the funnel. And then simply the bottom of the funnel is going to be where you pretty much go for the conversion and you send people over to your sales page, people who opted in, initiated checkout, added to cart, those type of people, even the purchasers, you might want to send them to another offer and to send them through uh, a product that will be um, 
different from the one that they actually purchased. And then also you have the people who um, added to cart and initiated checkout. You might want to send them a different discount or a different offer to a different page so that they can, uh, you know, pretty much opt in and purchase your product, which is what you're aiming for, right? And so now you have the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, the bottom of the funnel, all mapped out. And now you just need to put specific pieces of content at, it, at each phase of the funnel to maximize your ad dollars and move people through the phase patiently and not go directly for the kill. I'm going to shoot more videos on this topic uh, coming up. So thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it.